double up is obviously one of the highlights of victory lap. What, what can you tell us about your, your role in that record and how that record came, came out? Man, that was a beautiful evening, man. Um, Nip had, you know, he was working on his album. We went from like, you know, on the come up and in the times where we was really working together, we worked together heavy, like damn near every day for like a couple years, wow. all the time, you know. And then, um, I, when they got the deal with Atlantic and I was doing other stuff, I had traveled and did a couple tours. And I hadn't really seen Nip as much for like a, a little window besides like shows. He came to one of my festivals in Anaheim. Um, Might have been day and night. I don't know, at the Angel Stadium. I yep, think yep, that yep. was, I the, that that, was yeah. a big one. Yeah. He came out and showed up for me. Um, and then a little bit after that, you know, he was working on the album the whole time, though. That's one thing I could say. Like, he took he was, his time with Victory He was Lab. always focused, like, about that album and being adamant about it coming out one day how it was. Because I remember having convos with him years ago and him playing me songs that were still on or ideas that were, you know, way before it that album came out so you know in the midst of all of that you know i would see bro and um he was like man come i got i want to play you the album he was he was camped out at uh what's the spot off vine you know it uh paramount mm. he used to have his whip right there on pair on the curb everybody know that know him i went up there one day and he was like yeah you know the music done i'm just vibing just listening showing my support he was getting tatted it was funny because i remember he was getting blasted the big all money in on that was a part of the rollout he took his shirt off a lot on the yeah. campaign so i was there the night he was getting blasted and he was playing me songs and um he was like man really i just got one verse song that i really really love that i haven't did two verses but that could make the album and he played it and i just went right in the booth and i remember he was getting tired and he was smiling just looking at me you know what i mean recording it. i'll never forget that and i could just see him through the window and he was like listening to what i was saying and he was getting tatted and um it was just a cool night man and the next time i really heard the song i really found out you know how it went down was really when it released. Yeah, like, you know, being, Belly's on it. <laughs> being at the release yeah. party, yeah, exactly. And then hearing, you know, exactly what Belly had added to it and just the final project, man, and I just thought it was, like, of the highest quality. You know, not that it's not, that's what I expect from Nip, but I was really floored by how well, you know, he was able to weather the storm and really get his vision all the way out on the highest level, man. man. I'll, I'll forever be proud of him for that. Yes, it, it might be my favorite song on Victory Lap. It's one of them, man, but it's, it's it's crazy because like I just think like, what if Nip was still here and he was over there at Chalice with with oh, what's going man. on at Hit Boy Spot? Like I, I feel mean, like him he made and rocks were, in the middle. That's what I'm saying. Like they the just lots. were getting, they were man. just getting their 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 like, you know what I'm saying? Like just imagine. Man. The I crazy think about collabs it every day, that would, man. would be coming I know. out. I know. I think about it every day, man. That was the last place I saw him and spoke to him at in Hit Boy um, Studio, finishing racks in the middle. Yep. You know? It's crazy, man. Yeah. Like, R.I.P. Um, the great. 